Odisha. The city of temples. The temples of Orissa are very well known for the sculpture poses which are carved on the walls. Orissi is one of the classical dance forms from the eastern part of India. And Orissi dance is totally a devotion. classical dance form where you get bhakti bhav The name of Orissa is the origin of Odissi Odissi dance was previously the dance form used in the temples A group of women used to dance in the temples and they were called as mahari mahari means mahan nari these women were considered as the servants of god they used to perform in the temples in front of our deity lord jagannath there is another group of dancers as well the group of dancers is called gotipua they used to dance in front of the king's court and outside to entertain the public the word gotipua is divided in two parts where goti means single and pua means boy which means that the single boys used to dress up as women and used to perform in front of the public Orissi is the revived form of Gotipua and Mahari. Do you know who is the father architect of this art form? Padam Vibhushan, Guru Keluchan Mahapatra. His contribution for the Orissi dance form has made him like a father architect of this dance form. Pranam everyone. My name is Anjali Navni. I am 12 years old. I am from Bangalore. I study in Basel Woods International School. I am in 7th grade and I am an international Odissi dancer. Odissi dance is a very graceful art form. It has uh, lots of body movements, hand movements, hand gestures, expressions which is very mesmerizing and you can relate with it. Odissi dance has come from the state Odisha and uh, it's all about drama, dance. the postures like uh, the choka posture which has come from the lord jagannath and guru uh, keluchan mahapatra and sanjukta panigrahi have uh, promoted it internationally so uh, that we can uh, promote our heritage and culture When I was two and a half years old, I started my dance journey. मैं एक दिन टीवी देख रही थी और वहाँ एक टीवी शो डांस शो चल रहा था वहाँ डांस कर रहे थे एंड आई वॉज इमिटेटिंग द डांस reality show he was going on she was uh, immediately imitating the same to same and we are very happy wow she is dancing wow she is learning something so 
वन थिंग इज टिक टू टू माई माइंड कि वाई नॉट ओडिसी वाई दिस एंड शी पुट मी इन क्लासिकल डांस एंड माई जर्नी स्टार्टेड वेन आई वॉज टू एंड हाफ ईयर्स After Mama put me in the dance class, I was just watching the other dancers dance. And then one day I got up and started dancing, like started imitating what they were doing. Angelina was uh, two and half year when she came to my first class. really wondering that she will be able to pick up the dance or not but you know then uh, she came to my class and she showed lots of interest and literally she sat on my lap and then when the children started doing hand gestures and she also started doing hand gestures and then i told her to why didn't you start and try some you know steps and then she started doing it when she started learning since then she never stopped her dance classes so i was really happy and uh, i could believe that okay she has that potential and she can start the learning you know at this uh, very tender age i taught her hand gestures has a you know good you know balanced life like uh, morning se leke uh, night tak she has to follow one you know proper routine the way i manage my dance in school is after i come back from school if i have dance class then i eat the food in the car and i reach dance class i do my dance practice and then i do my studies over there i complete my dance i come back home and i just sleep i just go to bed dance teaches you how to be more disciplined punctual and how to be a good human being the the most i like is the expressions the hand movements uh, the body movements and everything is so mesmerizing i like dancing and i just feel that i can express myself more when i'm dancing so as far as the dance is concerned she is very particular very obedient she is very focused in her dance and she gives 100% you know as far as the dance is concerned my parents have supported me a lot from my father i have learned how to be patient how to utilize time in a good way my parents teach me how to be patient to be a good listener to be dedicated to be humble kind these are a few life lessons my parents have taught me and from mama i have learned how to be punctual how to be disciplined so that's how they have help me and support me throughout my journey all credit goes to her mother but she has taken her to this level me and my brother are very playful we learn from each other
sometimes we are a little naughty with mama like we fight with each other me and my brother often fight but eventually we share with each other and settle it out my guru who is shrimati madhlita mahapatra she is very kind she is very humble she is like my second mother and she has always supported me in every other way my guru uh, has taught me all techniques of dance but she also lets me express whatever i know a little bit about dance also i must say uh, about her that she is a very uh, sincere girl and very regular to the class and she puts all her effort and hard work towards her passion even she manages her studies she uh, comes for dance classes and she practices well so i hope and i pray lord jagannath ki she will be uh, able to become a good odissi dancer in future what i want to become in future is first of all i want to become a good human being and second i want to become a good uh, odissi dancer i am very much proud कि वो एक ओडिसी डांसर है जिसके लिए वो परिचित है आज के डेट में विदेशों में देश में और जहाँ पर भी वो जाती है लोग उसको पहचानते हैं कि ये एस्तेंजलिना इज ए यू नो ओडिसी डांसर इसके लिए मैं बहुत ही गर्वित हूँ एज ए मदर एज ए पेरेंट्स वी बोथ आर वेरी प्राउड इवन माई मदर इन लॉ एंड फादर इन लॉ बोथ आर ऑल्सो वेरी प्राउड कि ये उनके घर में कोई तो ऐसा है जो ओडिसी डांस को प्रमोट कर रही है It's important to promote our uh, classical dance forms and our heritage because now you see everyone is usually in hip hop all the bollywood dances but you should also promote your own heritage uh, from where you are because i am from odisha and i am promoting my odisha culture the odissi dance एक तो चीज़ है कि इंडिया में आजकल ज़्यादातर इन्फ्लुएंस है फॉरेन का जो कि वो होना नहीं चाहिए हम ऊपर से बोलते हैं हम इंडियन हैं लेकिन हम फॉरेन चीज़ों को अपना लेते हैं बहुत जल्दी किड्स एट माय एज डोंट नो अ लॉट अबाउट देयर हेरिटेज देयर कल्चर एंड दे गो इन टू लाइक वेस्टर्न स्टाइल्स बॉलीवुड सो दे शुड ऑल्सो प्रमोट देयर ओन कल्चर एंड वेदर इट इज़ भरतनाट्यम ओडिसी कथक और एनी अदर डांस क्लासिकल डांस फॉर्म दे शुड लर्न दैट एंड प्रिजर्व एंड प्रमोट इट where i feel that there is a discrimination against indian dance forms because nowadays people are more inclined towards western dances yes i want to change that uh, indian forms are not uh, popular nowadays i want to take odissi dance to a global stage as well whatever i have learned from my guru I want to promote it and whatever little I know about dance ODC dance I want to uh, spread it out and uh, teach the society so that they can take it up forward and spread it over globally So I feel very proud of Angelina what she has achieved till date I performed in many places both nationally and internationally I've got more than 300 prestigious awards, and few of them are Devanshi Kala Vidushi Samman, Kala Kishore Award, Mother Teresa National Award. I performed in Dubai Expo, and I've got a first prize in state level competition for the category of classical dance, and I performed online for ICCR Moscow.
was just the beginning of my career and I do feel proud about myself. I want to learn more and I want to do more in dance. I'm very proud of my achievements, but my parents have taught me how to be humble and patient and all the achievements are just a learning curve for me. Next on stage, Angelina Avni. Oh, 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 oh,